Okay, so you can see in this, um, yeah, close all that, that we're accessing the data uh, through a command line. It's important to understand that, honestly, there's lots of different ways of connecting and accessing the database. So what we're going to do is we're going to download some free ones. One of them is called SQO Developer. Download. Uh, these, are, these are visual ways of, of viewing data. Uh, command line's powerful, but you know, on a day-to-day -day basis, maybe we don't want to use it. Um, we're just going to get this 32-bit one. Uh, does not include. I want the one that includes the JDK. So I'm just going to get this uh, uh, JDK. It's uh, the Java libraries that needs to run this one. So we're going to download this one, and uh, I'm also going to show you another one. Uh, Quest, so we're going to say MySQL Toad Freeware. Quest, uh, they, they, they have a browser as well. I want to show you both of them so you can get the idea for what these tools are like. And uh, they have a pretty decent freeware one. Um, uh, I'm, not gonna, I'm going to fill this out, then click Submit, then I'll resume recording. And then as soon as I hit that, it takes me here. And it looks like it's been a pretty good while since they released a version, but let's go ahead and we'll get their freeware one. And uh, let's go ahead and... Do, 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 do. Right, that's downloading. Let's, so this one finished downloading, so we're just going to go ahead and we're going to extract it. So th this is the Visual Database Browser from Oracle. Um, and this is the Quest one. Okay, now that it's finished downloading uh, both Quest and this, let me, let's go ahead and install the Toad one. There we go. Let's stick with all the defaults. Um, yeah, I, th I think uh, with this Toad one, if you're using it, I mean, you need to read through the license. Like uh, now, Quest, they actually have one that will connect to Oracle. This is for MySQL, um, but their Oracle one, it's it's very expensive. It's a very powerful and good tool, but yeah, it's expensive. But we're just going to install this freeware MySQL one just to kind of give you an idea for these different types of programs. Visual database browsers. Okay, and now it's finished. So I don't want it to start quite yet. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and do. Uh, okay, so I'm going to close that. Close a few of these windows here. Open uh, up our desktop. It's not so cluttered here. And uh, we won't need that anymore. And we'll go ahead and exit that as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started with Toad. Nice little rivet sound. Um, I'm just going to keep with the default look and feel. Or sound more familiar with their Oracle look. I mean, this is really just talking about where it places these panels and stuff. So I'm going to say connect and uh, I'm going to say root password. I also have root as well. And I'm not going to specify a database. So we go ahead and we connect and First, not very exciting, but you can see right here, you can choose which database you want to look at. Let's go to our example database. You can now see all our different tables. Now, we only created one. I double click on it. You can see that I created it with an ID and a name, and you can click on data. So it's a visual way of, let's do command line just to contrast it. Use your root P. from person. So, oh, you got to use example to be in the right database. So, what what this program is basically doing, it's actually it's running these same commands under the hood, so to speak, and then it's giving you a nice uh, 
pretty interface with nice neat little tables and stuff. Instead of you know insert into you know point the table, there's these nice little features where we can hit a plus and we'll say four and we'll say Kevin. And uh, yeah, I won't worry about that. So you know instead of doing the insert. So this is uh, this is one example. So anyway, connected here to MySQL. Now let's uh, let's look at SQL Developer. Now SQL Developer, it's it's meant for connecting to Oracle. Now before we can actually connect to Oracle, we're gonna have to do something here. SQL plus uh, sysdba. You have to create a user. Create user. Um, Bob. See if we do this right here to create a user. It's not. Just, yeah, that's right. Let's see if I'm right now. Okay, so create a user, and then you have to grant him, grant Bob DBA. Mm, grant DBA to Bob. So, um, what we just did here is. Is is so sysdba? It's it's an account that you're not supposed to connect with. So like if we go into SQL Developer here, and we start this up, and I say I want a new connection. You can kind of, you can see how, you know, it looks pretty similar to Toad here. But most of these Visual Bit Database browsers they they look pretty similar. So I say a new connection, and and to say Oracle example. See if I were to put sysdba and I put in my password and I tried to test it, it's going to tell me that it failed. The reason is that the the sysdba you're they're trying to discourage you from connecting with it. So we just created a user Bob and we gave him power as though he was a DBA or database administrator, meaning he's all powerful basically. So if we go there, this, now we're going to try Bob. I think I said password one. Now if we test it, it says okay. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to connect. And we're now connected. Now, um, unlike over here where it like shows the tables and stuff, let's try to go back here. You have tables, indexes, triggers, stuff like that. Um, you connect over here and you can see you have indexes, tables. Now we're actually connected to a schema or database, whatever you want to call it, that does not have any tables or views or anything interesting right now. But uh, let's go ahead and let's create one. So another thing about these visual database programs, they typically have um, some sort of way to uh, create tables. So we'll create our table person and I think the first one we called uh, ID and data type we're going to say a number um, I'm going to say add column and our other person thing was name we'll say bar chart 2 and we'll say 255 so if we look at the you can see this little tab here it's telling you what what stuff it's generating that's basically going to execute in the command line, so to speak. So say okay. So you can now see we have a person table, and just uh, just like uh, Toad here, you know you have a column view, a data view, a column view, you have a data view, and you add a new column here. So let's say ID one, and type. We'll say Bob. And on this one, we need to commit the changes to Sally. And uh, let's go ahead and just delete that row. There we go. just leave it, I guess. So just to demonstrate this, let's go ahead and we'll exit. We'll say SQL plus. Who am I? My name is Bob. My password is password one. And so now I can do select star from person. And you can see Bob and Sally are right here. So like 
let's suppose we add, let's add one more. Let's say three, uh, Fred. So here's the thing right now. So if we do it, you notice that there's only two. But when we commit it, it causes the changes to cause effect. So now you see Fred is in there. So this is just a quick overview of some of these visual database browsers.